guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a first impression of the Alamar Cosmetics Rain de Chel Caribe Volume 1 palette. I know I probably did not pronounce that very well, I probably butchered it, but I don't speak Spanish, I just know like 1 through 10, um, you know, the really basic words, and I cannot roll my R's, so I suck at pronouncing Spanish words. So I am sorry, I apologize for that, but anyway, it's the Alamar Cosmetics new palette from Gabby, I'm sure you already probably know who she is, but on Instagram, she is Gabby T M U A. She is Kathleen Light's makeup artist, and she also works at BoxyCharm. So I was really excited when I saw that she was launching a palette that was her own makeup brand. I think that's amazing. This is the eye look I did using this palette. I only used the eyeshadows from this palette to get this look on my eyes and I love how it turned out. So if you would like to see some swatches, see how the eyeshadows perform on the eyes, then please keep watching. So first off, I just wanted to say this palette comes with eight shadows and it retails for $28, which I think is actually a pretty good deal. They're less than $4 per shadow, a little bit over $3. So I think that's pretty good. They're pretty big pans. Like I feel like this is going to last you a while so I think it's a fair price for this palette it's cruelty free and made in the USA and then the brush trio this is the Ojitos brush trio this retails for $18 I think that's a pretty good deal for good quality brushes because that's only like six dollars a brush and you know brushes could be very expensive sometimes if you were to buy brushes like at Sephora or Ulta they could be like twenty dollars per brush so I think this is definitely a good price I think the packaging is so pretty I think this yellow color is so perfect for like spring and summer it's really 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 pretty like tropical vibes so it says it is inspired by the beauty and rich culture of Cuba the birthplace of Alamar featuring eight intensely pigmented shades ranging from delicate shimmers high shine metallics and velvety matte inside of the packaging is really pretty there's all these like tropical flowers and like palm trees and stuff it's really pretty and then the you know the flap goes all the way to the back which is nice because then it's easy to hold there's no mirror, but I don't really care because I always have a mirror with me if I'm doing my eyeshadow, so it doesn't really matter. Then you don't have to worry about it breaking either. So here are the eight shades. As you can see, the four on the bottom are the matte ones, and then the four on the top are the shimmer or metallic shades. And then they put a little water drop next to these four shades on the top to show that you can add water to them or wet your brush so that they can be more foiled. And then these ones they show to use them dry. There's like a little sun next to the shade name to tell you to use it dry. So I think that's pretty cool. A lot of people may already know that, but if you don't, if you're a beginner, that's a really good tip to have. So I think that's nice that they added that. So this is the palette. And then I also got the trio of brushes that she sells. I think the brushes are really pretty. They are all green, which I think is really pretty, really pretty tropical. And then there's copper on, a copper color on the tip. And then, so there's like a fluffy brush, a flat liner brush and then a packing brush which is pretty small so it's nice because you could actually like you could really pack on the color but be very precise with it so I like that and these brushes are really soft I'm excited to try them on my eyes okay so my eyes are already primed I use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the shade Eden I didn't set it with anything but it's already basically set down to start out I'm going to take this orange matte shade over here it's called Coco Taxi just going to use this fluffy uh fluffy brush and I'm just going to add this to the crease, basically as my transition shade. That's it for the matte orange for now. I think it applied really nicely. I really like how it blended out. As you can see, I really focused it in the crease, but then I buffed it out and blended it up towards my brow bone. So I think it applied really nicely so far. I think I really want to use the blue shade. It's so pretty. I just, I love this blue shade. I think it's stunning. It's called Veradero. I know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because I cannot roll my R's, but it's the blue shade. <laughs> First, I'm going to try applying it without wetting the brush just to see how it applies on its own because when I swatched it on my hand, it applied really nicely without dampening the brush. So I just want to see how it works on its own. So I just want to apply this on my entire lid. It's such a creamy formula and it has so much pigmentation that I feel like you don't even need to dampen it. Okay, I really like how this is looking so far. I know it doesn't look like it's complete yet, of course, but I really like how that eyeshadow applied just on its own. I think on this side, I'm going to try applying it wet just to compare and then if I like it, I maybe will touch up this side. I'm just going to use some setting spray. This is just the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray just to dampen my brush after I dip it in to the shade. A 
Okay, so after applying it with the brush a little bit damp on this side, I feel like it doesn't look that much different. The side that I applied dry looks just as good, just as pigmented and foiled. Maybe with the other shades they might perform better with the setting spray to dampen it, but this is a good thing in my opinion that you don't even need to dampen it because they're so pigmented and so creamy just on their own that you don't really need to dampen it, but you could if you want to. It might also be because of the primer I use that it just helps it stick a little bit better, but yeah, no complaints. I really like how it's applying. I'm just going to blend the crease a little bit just to help blend that blue. I don't have any product added. I'm just going to keep blending. I'm going to take this blending brush from Elizabeth Mott. It's a little bit skinnier, so I'm going to try to just add a little bit more of that blue and be a little bit more precise and just blend that crease. Just so I can get some of that blue color worked into the crease a bit more, but blending it out. Now I'm going to go back into the shade Coco Taxi again with that fluffy brush and just apply it in the crease again because it kind of blended away a bit. I'm going to take the brown matte shade called Cafecito, Cafecito and using that same fluffy brush, I'm going to add this to the crease, but like right in the crease. I don't really want to bring it up too high. So I'm kind of just trying to blend between the blue and the transition. I'm going to take the shade Lacosta and put a little bit of this on my brow bone. And then I'll also add it to the inner corner. So for my lower lash line off camera, I used a combination of Veradero and Celia, the blue and green shimmer shades. Just I buffed them really close to my lash line because it was kind of irritating my eyes and it's hard for me to do that on camera when I'm like on my lower lash line. So that's it for the palette for now. I'm just going to put on some eyeliner and mascara and I will be right back. So I finished up the eyes with some eyeliner and mascara. Whenever I do these bold like colorful or smoky looks I feel like it doesn't look good until I put on some eyeliner and mascara especially like a winged liner. Just in my opinion it like pulls the look together. So I really like this palette so far. I think I'll just finish up with some highlight just to make the face look complete because the eyes are really glam right now. I feel like I need some highlight to balance it out. I think I'll go into the Pure Sculptor palette. This was in my BoxyCharm this month and I'm going to use the shade Originator, the one on top. I'm just going to apply it to the cheek. First I'm going to use the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Also use the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist because I feel like my skin looks a little bit dry right now because of the foundation I used. I used the Cover FX new foundation. What's it called? Oh, the Cover FX Power Play foundation. It's behind my chair. It is a matte foundation. Depending on what primer and moisturizer I use underneath, it could look a little bit dry. But once I use a setting spray on top, I feel like it just makes everything look more hydrated and more like skin. I don't end up having a problem once it's set. Okay, for my lips, I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Milkshake. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm going to use this gloss from ColourPop. It's the Kathleen Lates Collab. The Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Moon Child. I love this. It's like the perfect nude gloss. So pretty. So that completes this video trying out the Aloe Mar Cosmetics Reina Del Caribe Volume 1 palette. I am so happy with how this look turned out on the eyes. I think it looks so pretty and I think it's really, really nice for like spring and summer. I don't know. I just, I think this color looks so nice. These dark blue kind of like cobalt blue shades are really popular right now. I think ever since one of the Kim Kardashian eyeshadow palettes came out, it's been really popular. I don't have that palette. I've never tried any of her makeup, but I'm just saying this blue shade has been really popular. And I think that the formula of these shadows is amazing. I am so impressed by these. The metallics in here are probably the best metallics I've tried just because you you don't need to wet them to get this pigmentation like if you see my eyelids that blue is so shimmery and metallic and pigmented and I didn't have to wet the brush I did on this side just to try it but I didn't need it this side I did not wet the brush so I'm really impressed by these and just the swatches you can already tell how good the formula is it's really really creamy and just applies so nicely and 
evenly and you could still blend it out. Like even though it's a shimmer metallic shade, you could still blend it in the crease. So I'm really happy. I'm really excited to try these out some more and do some more fun looks. I think that this green is also stunning and then these two shades up here are really pretty as well. This shade up here that's kind of like a light greenish, you can't really tell on camera but in person it kind of has like a little bit of a green shift to it. It's so pretty and I don't have very many shades like this. So I'm really happy with it. And also the mattes. They blend in the crease so nicely. They have really good pigmentation, but you can blend them out really well. And the formula is just so good in my opinion. I would definitely recommend trying out these shadows. I think that they are really, really good. And I'm really excited to keep playing around with it. So definitely I would just give this like an A+. Plus. I think it's amazing. <laughs> I love the packaging. I love the shades. I think you could do so many different looks with this. You could do both bold looks like what I did today. Or you could do like a really simple look. Like you could just use some of the mattes on your eyes, buff them out, and then maybe do like a little bit of a shimmer on your brow bone and inner corner with one of the top shades. You know, there's so many different things you can do with it, even though there's just eight shades. There's a lot of, you know, variety. You could also pair it with other palettes to create different looks. So I'm really happy with it. I think what stands out the most is just the formula of these shadows, which is I think that's really important because there's so many makeup brands now and so many different products on the market that to really stand out, I think it's important to have a really good formula. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Congrats, Gabby, on creating your own makeup brand. I think you did a great job, and I'm really impressed that, you know, someone that, you know, started out as a makeup artist. I don't know a ton about Gabby. I mostly just know of her from Kathleen Lights, but I think it's really impressive that someone that started out as a makeup artist, you know, like, got a job at BoxyCharm and now has her own makeup brand. I think that's amazing that's something to really look up to that you can follow your dreams so congratulations and i can't wait for more products to launch so i could keep supporting you and i think this is amazing so you did a great job so i hope you enjoyed watching this video let me know in the comments down below if you have ordered this and if you've tried it out or if you want me to do any other looks with this palette let me know i would be happy to try out another look i think it's really fun to play around with the colors don't forget to subscribe if you like this video so you can keep up with my channel i would love to get to know you and just you know keep in touch so i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in my next video bye